Dear Diary. Wait, I've never done this before. Eh, okay. It's already been five months since I jumped ship to swim for the beautiful land I saw on the horizon. I swam for a while, and I must say, it felt liberating. I have managed to build a raft from the wreckage, and I'm keeping my head up. The view is beautiful. I am at peace now. However, it's not always peaceful here, diary. I don't even know if the land I saw was just a mirage. Because, let's face it, it was only I who saw it. I still see it, and I'm still moving. It's the only thing I can do now. Keep moving. Five months, and I'm still here, alive. It feels good, diary. It really does. I'll end it here for now. Till we speak again. The great thing about being a freelancer is you're free to do whatever you want, whenever you want. But the sad reality I have come to know is that you never really have that much free time, if we're being honest. At least not when you're just beginning your freelance journey like me. And if you're doing it well, then it means that you're probably spending more time learning new things or ways to market yourself and improve your craft to attract new clients or that you have clients work that needs extra attention because you want to form new beneficial relationships and you give it your all. So you're working, working, working. Five months ago, I began my journey of freelance and I chose film and photography after seeing the opportunity that career path, you know, presented me. It took two years of thinking and deciding and I've said on different occasions that it was an upgrade I needed as a storyteller from radio to marketing and even photography as a hobby. And now combining all these interests to something I can call my own and live for. For example, I love documentary filmmaking and it's something that I very much love to spend a few years doing and enjoying because I think it's such a rich way of storytelling and you can make a documentary of almost anything and explore conversations that haven't had that much attention paid to it. I just love it and I think storytelling in itself is future proof and I'm very happy to be a part of. And this year I had the opportunity to work with two amazing people and make two short documentaries I'm really proud of and I'm looking forward to so much more when we come out of this new normal that we are faced with. And I'm also learning to navigate this new remote working space and how to deal with clients, with emails and managing relationships and all that. I must admit, I'm not a fan of the business side of things. And now if you ask me how the experience has been so far, I would say great. I'm happy and I can see that I'm slowly growing and evolving, especially now looking back from when I started in January till now. Even with the glitches affecting the whole world right now, freelancing has been a worthwhile experience. Of course, I'm not going to paint the picture of this journey as all great and nice. I'm very much struggling with being impatient in general, for example. I'm struggling with uh, the artist bane of working with people and being able to communicate your vision clearly and having people treat the things that you love with the same enthusiasm that you have because you see a perfect picture. That's been very difficult for me. I'm still very much struggling with accepting the quality I put out there. That is why you may already realize that I keep finding new ways of doing things all the time, even though I receive compliments about how good they are. So yeah, there's that struggle as well. And another reason why I decided to go on this journey was to be able to control how I spent my time and fix the imbalance that I've been feeling with my work and social life, which ultimately affected my mental health. But I haven't been able to find that perfect balance yet. Still working. Yes, I'm better rested, more relaxed, and frankly, still trying to figure things out. I do more work now. I put in more hours to produce, to create more, and to fight for what's out there with people like me. So yes, I'm free, but free doesn't mean that everything is falling in place immediately on your lap. Uh, free means that there's no limit to how you can create and achieve what you want. Um, free here means that there's an open field full of opportunities and the only perk is that you decide when you rest 
or take breaks for however long it takes you to recover. You decide how to earn, how to grow, and how to improve upon the quality of life, especially your mental health. I can't stress on that enough. So if you ask me how I'm doing now, I would say pretty great. Um, the endurance on the treadmill is paying off and I'm grateful for the opportunity to create. I look forward to doing so much more and meeting the Kwame of the future, uh, the upgrades that will come my way. So for me, it's like standing on top of a hill and looking at a town full of opportunities and equal amount of obstacles and trying to figure out how to get around them. That's me. That's where I am now, and it feels good. It feels really good. But before I go, though, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, check out some other videos on my channel. It means a lot when you like the video and post your comments in the comment section below. It really helps. So please do that and check out some of my videos. My name is Jose Kwame, and it's been a wonderful ride and updating you on five months of being a professional freelancer. It's been good. I'll catch you again next week. Adios.